Hey guys, what's up? It's Retro Mikey 78 here, and today we are going to do the Wii collection that I own. And this is um, from a guy. This is from another um, subscriber. He co commented in the things and asked for a Wii and Wii U. This is the Wii. I've already done the Wii U. So here we go. Let's get into this. I'm going to put the table back down so you guys can see me and I'll zoom in the camera. Alright guys, here we go. Um, kind of not going to be in an, a sort of an alphabetical order, but the stacks are random. So, Alright, um, before I get started, I'm going to tell you a little bit of difference in some of these games. The Wii is the main family family console. There's a lot of things here that April wanted to play or that we played together. And I'll tell you the difference between those. A lot of light gun games, a few platforming type games. And then there's some games that with my deformed hand, the nunchuck was really, really hard for me to do. And I could not um, do later bubbles. But I have kept some of them. Let's get into this. Going to start off with um, family games of Game Party. We have volumes one through three. Always fun to just put those in and go through and do some things. Um, Ghostbusters, the video game. Great game. I love playing this on the Wii. Even though the nunchuck's a little hard on my hand, the light gun on this is um, amazing. Dead Space Extraction. Awesome, awesome game. I love playing this one. Um, Deca Sports. I'm not sure why we kept it. Um, either I like something or April likes something. But we tried it a couple times and decided to keep it. Um, yeah, this is a nasty copy. I need to get another case for this one. Destroy All Humans. Um, Big Willies Unleashed. Um, I only paid four bucks for it. Um, should have got it cheaper. It's good. I don't know much about this game because I wanted to play through the original. I'm playing that on the Xbox slowly right now. So eventually I'll get to this. I know I got part one, part two on the Xbox. I have one on the 360 and then I have this version. But I know the other games are really fun. Um, Donkey Kong Barrel Blast. Not fun. Um, really, really hard to learn the controls on this. I thought it was difficult. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Um, didn't grow up with a Super Nintendo, so never been any good at um, Donkey Kong Country games. Um, have been watching Captain Algebra play this for a little bit, though. Um, Jungle Beat. Um, they say that it, the Wii Remote enhances it compared to the GameCube using the bongos. I don't think either mode enhances it. I think the game sucks altogether. Dragon Blade, Wrath of Fire. I'm qu not quite sure why I kept this. Um, picked it up somewhere and probably thought it looked like something I wanted to try. So one of these days I'll get around to it. EA Playground. I remember buying this at a yard sale in April. Said it. Dodgeball. She wanted to play dodgeball, so we kept it. Epic Mickey. Um, Epic Mickey got a... Um, I got part two on the Wii. Here's part one. I'd like to get the big box version of this with the, what is it, the brush that he uses. Excite Truck. I got this when I first got my Wii. It came in the bundle. My Wii came from a Sam's Club deal. Um, I went through and 100% of this game back then, but um, Excite Bite Bots. I've only um, dabbled in that one. And Fortune Street. This game here, I think, is a blast. It's like a cross between Monopoly and Mario Party. You go around and do things. You know, roll dice and do all that stuff. But then you got to get Monopolies and charge people rent and all this other stuff. It's. I think it's a fun game if you get into the mechanics of it. All right, now next one, um, I'd seen this on a episode of Metal Jesus Rocks, and I thought, man, this game sounds awesome, and it is. 
it's a horror survivor game um, called The Calling. You get a cell phone and you got a flashlight. And every time the phone rings and they talk to you, it comes through the Wii remote. It's really, really creepy. Um, I highly recommend it. I have not beat the game. Um, got stuck somewhere. I couldn't figure it out. But one of these days, I will. I really do like the game. Strange thing was, I was looking for it everywhere. And then Retro Rec Room, that's where I kept the sticker on it. Out of nowhere, because I said I'd been looking for it. Out of nowhere, they sent it to me. It's like, hey, they've been watching my videos. Castlevania Judgment. I do not know much about this Castlevania game besides the fact somebody was telling me it's actually a fighting game. And I've never tried this. I just kind of picked it up because it was a Castlevania game I didn't own. Alright, you guys saw the um, handheld videos. You knew I liked the game Chicken Shoot. Well, here's Chicken Shoot, Chicken Riot, and Chicken Blaster. Um, I just think these games are hilarious. And with the Wii light gun, it just makes it funner. Um, just playing around, shooting, and having a good time with these. Just, I just think it's fun. Um, I know there's one of these has a big box version. Um, plan on getting that sometime. Um, Counterforce, I do not remember why I kept it. Um, obviously a game I wanted to try, but never have. I've heard people tell me about the Conduit, and they said it was good. I got a hold of one cheap and probably kept it. Another, there's a lot of games in this system that I still need to try. These were something that me and April played a ton of. We like playing the miniature golf on the Wii. This was Crazy Kids and Crazy Kids Golf 2. Um, these are um, great games. You guys find these. I highly recommend picking them up. And April wanted me to keep this. I'm not sure why. Cruise Ship Vacation Games. Um, I saw Captain Algebra playing these or demoing these, and I decided to get them. I have not tried them. The Blob and the Blob 2. Um, one of these days, I'll get around to playing them, but they look interesting, so I got them cheap. I think the Blob says four bucks, and this one was five. Can't, can't go wrong with somebody saying a good game. Now, I'm a big fan of the Dead Rising series early on. I like the first one. I like the second one. I like some of the offshoots. I haven't went back and played three or four, but I decided to pick this up, even though it wasn't a good port. And I kept it out of nostalgic reasons. I didn't pay much for it. Now, this came from Retro Rec Room, and this was a shock. This game is stellar. Um, you play as a tarantula, you go through and you try to survive the desert. And at the same time, there's a side story. These guys trying to bury a body. And it's the guys' voices you hear are Billy Bob Thornton and Dennis Hopper. This game is awesome. Um, controls got, I had to get used to them, but okay. Bigfoot Collision Course, just a monster truck game. I just like playing. Just I don't do nothing specific. I just Put it in, have fun for a little bit, and take it back out. Uh, we decided to keep these two bowling games. We got AFF, AMF Royal of Lanes and Brunswick Zone Cosmic Bowling. Um, we were heavy into the bowling when the Wii first arrived. and Me and April both liked playing it. Um, before I go any further, show these to you because they're not in any order. You guys did see the pickup videos. I decided to keep these four games. They were really fun. Um, we kept Carnival Games because I was shocked we didn't have a copy. And I kept the Ragu, Rugu, Rugu Twisted Towers. Whatever it is. Um, this is actually a really fun um, puzzle slash platformer game. I, I was shocked at how fun it was. And I kept this because I really did enjoy the Manjong on it. And the Sam and Max from Telltale. This was actually a pretty fun game. Um, I haven't beat it yet, but I put it in, tried it, played it for about an hour and a half. But it, it was fun, so um, I highly recommend that. All right. Um, first off, I saw this on Gaming Off the Goods Light Gun episode, and I thought, hey, that's a cheap game. I might look up Ghost Squad. And then at the same time, the next month, Retro Rec Room did it again. They sent me a game that I was looking for. And I paid $6.99 for it. I was happy. I didn't have to go look for it. It's a premier copy. So 
It's a fun game. Um, I'd like to play multiplayer, but April doesn't like playing those style there of light gun games, so we play solo. Go Vacation. I know nothing about this game. April saw it was coming out for the Switch. Then we saw this at a flea market, and she told me to buy it. So we did, and it's been sitting here. <coughs> GoldenEye 007. Not a bad port. Um, one of these days, I'm going to get the full box with the controller. Uh, another um, light gun game. that I have not tried this one, no. Haunted House. Based on the original Atari Haunted House. So, this is a co-op player, two-player game. You can play one player or two player. And you kind of has the same vibe as the original Haunted House in the, from the Atari is what it says. Um, I bought it hoping April would sit down and play co-op with me. Because that's what we, she likes me buying co-op games she can play. We've not done any of it. So, I can't tell you any of it. It's kind of waiting. Now, this next game devastated me Heathcliff Fast and the Furious this was a racing game and I loved Heathcliff as a cartoon I thought man this might be good no the controls on this game are horrendous um unless you really are really a fan of Heathcliff like I am stay away um that'd probably be the only reason I would ever play it and try it again it, it you go into a corner and I, the car just did not want to turn. It was almost like sluggish. Hot Wheels Battle Force 5. Kind of a combat style um, Hot Wheel game. Not bad. Here's two gems, folks. Two gems on the system. House of the Dead 2 and 3 and House of the Dead Overkill. Some of the best light gun games on the Wii. Matter of fact, I think this is the best light gun game on the Wii. I love playing these games. Um, I did my top 10 Wii video. That was number one. Grew up outside Indianapolis, right near the Speedway. So I saw this in a flea market for four, about four or three dollars, and it was cheap. I decided to pick it up just out of nostalgic reasons, and it's a racing game. Um. Two Kirby games that I got back after the strike from last year. Um, there's still a anniversary edition that I'm missing. I don't know. But I do not know much about these games. Um, I keep finding them cheap, but I have i don't play much Kirby. I don't know why. Um, Spiral the Dragon, as far as I know, it's the only one on the Wii. Um, I picked it up. Looks like Grumpy Bob's. And a sealed copy of Skyward Sword because I've just never got around to playing it. Everybody says you got to really use those motion controls on it. And I'm like, hmm, I'm sorry, but it, I'm afraid that it's going to be hard. So I've just never done it. At this point, now that this thing is still sealed, I'm almost tempted to either buy me an open big box with the gold controller. <coughs> or maybe even just buy an open copy to try. Actually, I had an open copy not too long ago, and I sold it like an idiot instead of trying the game. But, yeah, I, right during the strike, I almost sold that. I had a guy done and pay $50 for it. And then at the last minute, they um, ended the strike and gave us our um, signing bonus. And I was like, okay, I'm keeping anything that hadn't sold yet. I was like, nope, 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 nope. Mini Desktop Racing. This is a really, really fun little um, racing game. You race as like little mini coops on top of desktops. It's not bad. Um, Monkey King. This is a surprise sleeper shooter that um, is in the system. And I scored it for $4, folks. The place I bought it at had about 15 copies a day I was there. This is an awesome little game. Um, I'm not nowhere near beating it, but yeah, yeah it's fun to play. Uh, Looney Tunes, Acme Arsenal, I have no idea why I kept this, um, maybe it's because Looney Tunes, it looks like a platformer, I just never tried it. M&M's Kart Racing, it's just what you think it is, it's M&M's trying to do kart, like Mario Kart style racing. It's not a bad game, it's better than the Heathcliff game, I'd check it out. Mad Dog McCree, not a bad shooter, but the acting and the... Uh, video footage gets annoying and 
it gets comical sometimes how bad it is. So keep that in mind. Um, it is a light gun game, but it, it's got some um, really, really bad acting. Um, keep forgetting I have Mad World. And I need to put it in and try it. But um, yep, Mad World um, here in the system. Uh, Mario Kart Wii played the shit out of this back in the day and I know I have everything unlocked on it but I haven't played it in so long I'd probably forgotten most of the tracks I'd be severely handicapped right now Mario Kart Mario Party 8 and Mario Party 9 great family games we've played um, a lot of them over the years Mario Strikers Charge. The only time I ever played this was over uh, Show Me Retros. Me and him went through and played this, so not bad. I've never played the Sports Mix for Mario or the Super Sluggers, so I need to try them sometime. Uh, me and April have both played Mario and Sonic at the Olympics and the Winter Olympics, so we kept those. They're, they're fun little games just to go back and do a little few little things. Oh, uh, here's a gem, folks, in my Wii collection. I love this. Mint. Nothing wrong with the plastic. Metroid Trilogy. Everything is inside. I mean, there's not a dent. I scored this about a year... When did I score this? July 2018, I think it was in the video. And this thing I scored for $25. Usually when I find them, either the slip is missing or ripped or cut broke. The case is dented. I found one at a yard sale last year. It looked like a guy had stepped on it and he still wanted 40 bucks for it. I'm like, no. Metroid, the other M. Oh. Um... SNK and Arcade Classics. I showed you guys this a few months back. We picked it up in Indiana. Got home because it was not in my, my catalog of games. Got home. Went to put the... I just showed the video. Went to put it on the shelf. And there was one there. So I took the one I um, got in Indiana and sold it for 20 Paid 10 Sold it for... Yep. Sold it for 20 Uh Sonic and the Black Knight. Just another Sonic game. Um... Princess Persia, Rival Swords. Uh, punch Out on the Wii. Yet another Punch Out game that I've never beat. Because I've never beat any of them. I love playing the Punch Out games. But after I get so high up, up in the ranks where I'm about two or three from the end, I just lose. I don't know what it is. So Punch Out on the Wii, great copy. Um, Rec Room Games, sealed copy, uh, half price books for four bucks, left the sticker on it. It was in the clearance area. Huh. But hey, um, we picked it up, figured we'd try it or just leave it sealed, who knows. We have Red Steel 1 and Red Steel 2. Red Steel 2 is sealed. Um, I need to play Red Steel 1, so when I do play this, I will open that one. Now we're going to get into some Resident Evil, folks. We got Zero. We have Resident Evil, both on the archives, whatever that means. Uh, Resident Evil 4 for the Wii, and um, I'm not a fan of the controls or most of those. Like I told you, my hand being deformed, it's hard on the nunchuck. But I am a big fan of these two. Umbrella Chronicles and Dark Side Chronicles. These games rock. These are about as good as the House of the Dead games. You are into Resident Evil and you like light gun games, you need to get these games. Sega Superstar Tennis. I'm sure I kept it just because it's got Sonic on it. Um, Shrek Carnival Craze Party Games. Um, we tried this. We got it from a guy I work with. And it's actually a really good game. Um, Silent Hill Shattered Memories, one of the last games I got from Retro Rec Room, and honestly, after I put it on the shelf, I think I forgot about it, so I need to go through that. I, need, I gotta go through a lot of Silent Hill games. Um, Sin and Punishment for the Wii, I uh, bought it at Walmart in a clearance bin, and it's still sealed, I keep, I've never actually opened it. But it looks like a good shooter, um, sometime I will try it. Alright. 
I got some Munster truck games here. We got Munster 4x4 World Circuit. Just a cheesy Munster truck game. Um, two Munster Jam games. Um, Urban Assault and Path of Destruction. I know Urban Assault, you can play with the Munster trucks like a ski ball, trying to get them in there, jump on a ramp. That's fun. Uh, Munster Trucks Mayhem. Another cheesy Munster truck game. I, me and... Me and April love Munster Jam, so I get into those things. Used to used to really love NASCAR, but not no more. So I like the old school guys, NASCAR kart racing. This is actually a pretty fun game if you're into NASCAR back in the day. You can get into this. Namco Museum Remix. Awesome game. Lots of fun on this. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Mario Power Tennis. It says it enhances it from the GameCube. I didn't like the GameCube, and I've tried this once. I didn't like it either. It did play better, though, being able to play like you're actually, you know, controlling a stick. Uh, new Super Mario Brothers Wii. Fun game. Um, Knight's Journey to the, of the Dreams. Obscure, The Aftermath. I keep forgetting that this is on the shelf. I need to play it. Off-Road Extreme, Special Edition, um, just another racing game I like to fool around with. All right, Pac-Man Party. Awesome, awesome game. I couldn't tell you how many hours my family has spent playing this together. Me and April picked this up because we like playing dodgeball type games. And this is Pirates vs. Ninja Dodgeball. Paid $2.99 for it and we still haven't tried it. Bought this back in February. Prince of Persia Forgotten Sands. Not tried that game. All right, two more stacks and we are done, folks. Um, Sonic Colors still sealed. So I got it from Kohl's, probably a clearance deal. Sonic and the Secret Rings. Um, I played this once. It's all right. It ain't the best Sonic game. Spy games, elevator missions, looks like some type of covert shooter. Um, I haven't tried this. Um, it could almost be a light gun game from because you don't actually see, but it looks like a first person thing. I'm curious. I need to try it. I picked it up at the flea market nearby. Real, real cheap. This is my original copy of this. Star Wars Force Unleashed. I love this game on the Wii. Even as much as I had control trouble controlling the nunchuck. Using the force powers with it was just a blast. Um, kept Clone Wars, Star Wars Clone Wars lightsaber duels. Um, never played it. Um, one of these days I will. Summer sports. Um, you got basketball, uh, horseshoes, golf, lawn darts, volleyball, and badminton. Uh, me and April like most of those on here. This is a fun little game. Mario All-Stars, I ain't got to say anything else about that. You got, you know, Mario All-Stars. That's a great port. Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Um, I'm, I've am i played through most of Galaxy, but I've really never even dabbled much in Part 2. This is probably a pretty mint copy. Um, just, I have problems with my hands playing those, some of that Mario game too, too long. Super Paper Mario, um, I was almost through this game and I lost my save somehow, so yeah. Um, that, that bit the big one. I need to go back and finish it. Um, this, I think, the only Smash Brothers game I've never played is the one on the Wii. I played the 64, the GameCube, I played the Switch, played the Wii U, but I've never played that one. Like Tetris a lot. We saw this for five bucks. Tetris Party Deluxe. Um, we've never tried it. Um, a light gun game. Um, basically, you're just shooting at targets. Top, but top shoot arcade. I've actually never tried this. I got it cheap. Um, huge Tron fan saw this. Tron Evolution Battle Grids. Decided to get it. And then we have Wacky Races, Crash and Dash. I love this cartoon growing up. Saw this, like I had to have that. Um, I've never played Wario Land. I need to try that. And I also need to try Wario Wear Smooth Moves. 
Um, we fit and we fit plus. I was thinking the other day after, uh, you know, me and April have lost so much weight. I'm thinking how long ago it was that we were on these. Did, um, you know, how much, how big are we? How, what would this thing say to us now? So I'm, I'm curious. I need to get me another Wii Fit board so we can check it out. I have one Wii Fit board, but it's brand new, sealed in a box. And I was seeing here recently that brand new sealed in a box like that, they're going for a lot of money, and I didn't pay hardly jack shit for it. So, um, I've been thinking about selling it. I, I bought that at a yard sale. It was complete new, sealed, with a Wii. I got Mario... I got... Zelda Twilight Princess, Mario Kart, and Smash Bros. Smash Brothers. All for 25 bucks. I think last year or the year before. I don't remember when it was. But when I got it, it was only $25. And I was like, okay. And back then you couldn't even get rid of those Wii Fit boards. Now people are starting to buy them. Uh, Wii Play Motion. We don't have the Wii Play. We don't. There ain't very many games on Wii Play I like. There are some on Wii Play Motion. Wii Party is a lot of fun. Um, so a lot like the Wii Par Party U. Same thing game on the Wii U. Um, got sports and we got resorts. I've got a couple copies of sports. Um, who doesn't by now? Um, April asked me to keep this Wonder World Amusement Park. She found something on it she liked. And I like this game here, Wreck-It Ralph. It is a fun platformer on there. All right. That's the Wii set. Um, will I ever go through and collect the old, you know, more for the Wii? I doubt it. Um, I, I'll probably will, will buy a few games here and there. Like, here, look, I just bought four games that I'm adding to it right here in front of you. But I will never go for a complete, complete Wii set. I think there's too much bullshit that I, you know, too much bullshit on the Wii that the shuffleware on this system was ungodly too much. So, Hey, tell me if you guys think there's anything that you guys think is a hidden gem. I know there's a couple that, a couple light gun games I'm still looking for. I'm wanting to find the um, Dragon's Lair trilogy. But the stuff I'm wanting is a little more pricey and hard to find. But is there any cheap things you guys suggest that I didn't name off? Or hey, just, you know, maybe tell me another type of video. That's what this was. This was a request. And hey. You guys request it. Gives me an idea. If I can get an idea and get a video out, I'll try to do it. I'll try to do the video. Otherwise, I'll move on. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with more content.